I'm pleased to be able to share this devotional with you today from Mark chapter 5. And it goes like this, Mark 5, 35 through 43. While he, that is Jesus, was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. She was 12 years of age. At this, they were overcome with amazement. And he strictly ordered them not to, uh, that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat. Isn't this a lovely story? Lovely story of a family that was mourning the loss of a 12 year old girl. And then uh, Jesus comes, enters into the house, and just with a few words changes her life as well as the whole family's life around. My guess is that uh, as I'm uh, speaking here today, you can think of a few words that changed your life around or a few words that uh, somebody important said to you years and years ago, and you can still remember their voice in the back of your mind. You can still hear the cadence in which they spoke or the tone in which they spoke and uh, how important it was for them to share those words at uh, that time. It's uh, the Proverbs, Proverbs twenty five eleven that says, a, a word spoken rightly is like apples of gold and settings of silver. Uh, there's something about a word that's spoken at the right time, at the right place. The words that are spoken here are uh, just two words, and they're in Aramaic, Talitha kum. I don't know if you know why uh, the scripture does that at times. In fact, uh, scholars aren't exactly sure why at times uh, they they insert a, an Aramaic word. But, but most uh, who study think it was such a memorable word at that time that uh, the author and the writer, whether it be the gospel or whether it be one of the letters, uh, just took the spoken word at the time, which was likely Aramaic, um, and just inserted that uh, within the text. And that word was memorable and was also life-changing. Talitha Kum, little girl, arise. And the whole thing was changed. The whole uh, uh, problem was taken care of. God has a way of being able to speak a right word uh, into your heart and life uh, today, too. If you keep his scripture fresh in your mind, Remember that the scripture is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And he has a way to be able to speak to your heart and mind if you keep his word fresh within your heart. But also expect that uh, he will give his caring and loving shepherding uh, guidance to you too. Uh, we have read uh, how um, uh, Jesus is the great shepherd and the great caregiver for his sheep. Draw close to him and you will find uh, his life-giving strength and life-giving word for you today as well. God cares. God cares. He cares for 12-year-old girls. He cares for families that are mourning. He cares for nations that are also still struggling with uh, viruses like the coronavirus. And of course, this morning, uh, we have read uh, news of uh, cases uh, increasing in the states largely south of us that we've uh, diagnosed uh, or we have um, been able to uh, record some 3.3 million cases and unfortunately the death toll was mounting too but does god care yes he does he cares for you he cares for me can he speak a word of life certainly he can he can do that for you he can do that uh, for me and the story from mark chapter 5 reminds us that just two words of jesus can change things all around talitha kum Little girl, get up, and all of life is changed. I hope you'll join me now with a word of prayer, asking God to speak his word uh, to you, to me uh, today, but also for our nation, as we desperately need his life and his word. Won't you join me with prayer? Father, as uh, you have uh, given us uh, your word, and you do care 
for people. We do trust that uh, you will speak to us today. Speak in our hearts, Lord. Speak and remind us of uh, your written word. Speak to our hearts and souls so when things seem to be uncertain and uh, we might seem to be in doubt. And Lord, speak to our nation. We pray that it would turn to you at this time and find you too. So please, Lord, speak, touch our hearts, touch our land, and bless us as we go throughout this day. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. May God be with you today.